Schindler's List, a 1993 released movie, directed by Steven Spielberg. The film follows Oskar Schindler, a German industrialist who saved more than a thousand mostly Polish, Jewish refugees from the Holocaust by employing them in his factories during World War II. Mainly the movie focuses on the torture on Jews by the German Nazi. Of course it's a 18 plus movie because of the raw cruelty has been shown. Initially German businessman Oskar Schindler focuses on making money by using low-cost Jews worker in his mental enamel factory, but later on he carried away by his mental agony and saved more than 1,000 lives and spent out all of his earned money for the Jews only, for which he had to give up his lavish lifestyle. His extramarital relationships also shown in the movie in a liar way. But, more interesting is his colorful life which is not completely depicted in the movie. Born in 1908, in a standard family, got married in 1928. He has an extramarital affair with his school friend. For that he also had two children. He was arrested many times due to the reckless motorbike driving and drunken driving cases. He tried different kinds of works including business, but, not get successful. He joined Staditen German Party, became a spy for the military intelligence service of Nazi Germany, in 1936. The next part of his life is mostly shown in the movie. The movie ends, when Schindler leaves his place because he has announced as a war criminal. But, his life didn't end it. In 1948 he presented a claim for reimbursement of his wartime expenses to the American Jewish Joint Distribution Committee, and received around 15,000 US dollars, whereas... Actually he had spent 10 million USD during the time due to saving his employees. Which was involved huge bribing to the government officials for different reasons including transportation and safety of the Jewish workers. Afterwards, he tried many businesses but not get succeeded. He declared bankruptcy in 1963 and suffered a heart attack the next year. Schindler survived on donations sent by the Jewish people, whom he has saved from all over the world. Schindler died in 1974 due to liver failure. A carob tree was planted in his honor on the Avenue of the Righteous. He and his wife Emily were named Righteous Among the Nations, an award bestowed by the State of Israel on non-Jews who took an active role in rescuing Jews during the Holocaust, on 1993. His life teaches about how to live a life in this world. Nothing you have brought and nothing you will leave here. So, do what you want to do. Don't get afraid of being lost or don't get afraid of people's judgment. If you observe his life in a minute way, you will find a fearless man who has always ready to find new ways of living rather than standing for a secured life. He spends money lavishly when he earned. He also never get to spend money for better deeds and finally he has been also blessed for his deeds in the